There's a new movie celebrating the work of Grand Rapids native Marvin Sapp. I spoke with a globally recognized pastor and gospel singer about the message of resilience he's hoping you'll gain from the new film. Born and bred, raised, uh, birthed in Grand Rapids, Michigan on the southeast side. Never would have made it. He's the voice behind one of the longest running radio singles in music history. Never would have made Thanks in part, he says, to a community of Grand Rapidians. So many different individuals um, in the city of Grand Rapids, Michigan, that, you know, kept me in check, you know, and, and, and watched over me and made sure that even in my stupid decisions that they didn't, you know, terminate and or forfeit my purpose and my destiny. The new movie, named after his successful single, Never Would Have Made It, tells the story of his journey from troubled youth to renowned religious leader and singer. It's more than just singing to me, it's life. And I think when people understand that, um, for me, it has caused the rest of my days to be the best of my days. A story of resilience, a message he says he learned after losing his wife of 18 years to cancer in 2010. Life will hit you with some tumultuous and traumatic circumstances. Um, life could even break your heart like it did mine. But God has a way of mending it. And he always gives you the ability to move forward and to be what he's called you to be. He moved to Dallas a few years ago, but still regularly visits the Grand Rapids area. The movie Never Would Have Made It is showing now on TV One. Emily, thank you so much for bringing us that story. So fantastic to see uh, what his talents have done. And he got to start right here in Grand Rapids. Where he came from. Right yeah. Here. yeah.